Put your hands together for Eric Milligan. Hey, guys. <laughs> Stand-up comedy scares me to death. <clears throat> Three years ago, I told a friend that the two things that scared me the most were running a marathon and doing stand-up comedy. I made a deal with myself. I would try run a marathon, and then I would try stand-up. But I was so scared of stand-up comedy that I ran the New York City Marathon twice. <laughs> but here I am at the famous Comedy Cellar. I have a special connection to this place. When I was younger, I used to come here every night to stop Colin Quinn. <laughs> he told my friend Rick that if he was in jail, he would choose me. <laughs> so I thought I had a chance. <laughs> Professionally, I'm a fairly successful actor. I played Zach Addy on the TV show Bones. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool. Woo! You guys seem nice. <laughs> Richard Corliss of Time Magazine wasn't. <laughs> when I did Hair back in 2001, he wrote, Aquarius, the show's opening anthem was entrusted to Eric Milligan, who was frequently flat on opening night. And then at the end of the re review wrote, What a piece of work is man is beautifully sung by Michael Seelbach. I hereby award Seelbach the singing of Aquarius in all future performances. What the fuck? <laughs> he can't do that. One thing that's helped my work as an actor is that I'm bipolar. <laughs> I felt every feeling and can play any feeling. Here's how I learned I was bipolar. <laughs> One morning I woke up and everything was slow and heavy and I was going to the gym and I didn't want to go. But then I drop kicked my gym bag and I decided, I'm going to Disneyland! <laughs> And I jumped up and down and I sang, Look for the bare necessities, the simple bare necessities. Forget about your worries and your strife. And then I jumped into the shower and I sang, In the tiki 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 room, in the tiki 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 room. And then I was in my car. It means no worries for the rest of your days. Hakuna Matata. I was on such a fucking high. It was like... It was like doing cocaine and speed and making a mixtape after having just lost your virginity to Colin Quinn. <laughs> While eating your favorite flavor of ice cream on a unicycle. <laughs> then I got to Disneyland and found out it was the 50th anniversary. The place was so crowded there were lines to get in lines. I was hungry so I went to Tomorrowland and went to Pizza Port and ordered a slice of pizza. I put the slice of pizza in front of me on a table, and then I just started crying uncontrollably. <laughs> crying at the happiest place on earth. A kid sitting next to me said, did you lose your parents too? <laughs> so here's what I learned about bipolar disorder. Everything gets magnified, so when something a little bad happens, like scratching your car, all of a sudden it feels like the worst thing in the world, like the emotions of your parents dying and a plane crash and leaving you out of the will. But when I hear Barney the Purple Dinosaur sing, I love you, you love me, I turn into Sally Field. He loves me. He really, really loves me. And I'm not even into dinosaurs. So lately I've been doing magic shows and I got a bad review for that. Same guy. He wrote, he wrote he could not entertain children. A few weeks later, I did magic at a bat mitzvah, and my floating table broke. I said, fuck. <laughs> and then I got this review. Eric seems to have a nice and soft personality, and kids seem to be very comfortable around him. Thanks. Yeah!